Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a uh, small video on how to edit your guitar sounds and record them, more importantly, in Audacity, which is a free audio software program. Now, I didn't put a link to it, but you could just Google Audacity and you should be able to find the download link. Now, let's get started. The only materials that you will need are, number one, most importantly, if you're going to be doing a guitar, a guitar, or a bass, or whatever you want to use. The second thing you're going to be needing is a microphone. I'm just using the regular microphone that came with a rock band. That works completely fine for me. And the third thing they're going to be needing is Audacity. It's a new, it's a, not new, but it's a relatively new audio program available for download, which is completely free. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to plug your mic into the computer. Then, once you have Audacity downloaded, um, you want to go to Audacity, you want to go to File, New, then you should get a page like that. Now, when you want to start recording, here's what you do. Plug your guitar into your amplifier, put the guitar uh, amplifier close to your microphone, plug your microphone into your PC, it could be USB or any other type, and then um, press the record button. Now I'm going to do a little demo on how to do it, so let's get started. Once you press the record button, you will get a... Um, a little thing up there, you can hear my voice talking, and I can add whatever effects to my voice I would like, but, um, basically, yeah, now, I can stop that, play it back, let's hear it, the record button, you will get a, um, now this was made for guitar recording, as I specified, but, what we can do is, if we want to make my voice different we can highlight the whole thing by simply pressing the end of it and dragging it and then go up to effect you have to um, highlight it you can't now I'll put some wah wah on my voice see what it sounds like then cool button you will get a thing up there I can hear my voice talking and I can add whatever works to my voice I would like but, um, yeah. Now, I can stop. That's my voice with wah wah on it. Now, let's see what else we can do. We can do phaser, which will make it sound even weirder. Let's try it now. Then cool button, you will get a. Um, I can hear my voice talking. And I can add whatever works to my voice I would like. But, um, hopefully, yeah. Now let's record some um, guitar playing while we're at it. Um, what I can simply do is, if you don't want that, you can press File. Or, I mean, no. you press File and then uh, New if you don't want that project. Once you exit out of Audacity, it'll ask you if you want to save or not, so don't worry about that. Now, let's do some guitar playing and see if we can um, get something good. Now, I think my iToy, which is USB, is picking up the sound instead of my microphone, so I'm just going to put my iToy over there so you can hear it. I think you can pick it up, so let's try it out. Press record. <laughs> Once I press stop, my recording will be finished. Um, and you should come up with something like that. If you just play the guitar as horribly as I did. And, and then we could um, go over to effect. You have to drag it, make sure. Drag it all the way to the beginning of the song. And then effect. And you can do whatever you want. I'll do some... Uh, tremolo, 
which imitates a tremolo on a guitar. Let's try that out. Press record. Now you'll really notice a tremolo in the upcoming part right there, because that was just one solid note, so let's see how that sounds. Press record. That was actually pretty noticeable, the tremolo at the end of the uh, song, which was just a solid note. But now that you know how to do that, you can do whatever effects you want. They have a variety of different effects, and many of which you can download if you need new ones. Um, there's some useful things for anything in here. You could do click track, which um, generates a simple click. And I don't know why it didn't do it with mine, but oh well. I think it did. Oh well. Um, you could do a click, which is useful for keeping time in an audio project. You can do whatever you want. You can Im import it as an MP3. You can export it as an MP3. And you can do so many things with this. Um, one of the things that I did was Jingle Bells, which is pretty funny. You can listen to it now and watch out, please. That was. This is supposed to be my uh, Hendrix Jingle Bells, as I like to call it. That was my little sample of the jingle bells that I played a few minutes before I made this as a sample to uh, show you what I could do. But um, if you don't like how uh, noticeable the Y is, you could make it sound like an actual little wah pedal by doing this. Um, I'll undo my wah and see if this works better. I could undo amplify and then undo wah wah. And then now that that's highlighted, we could go to effect wah wah. And then what we can do is we can bring down the, um, I think it's the depth. Let me try that. Previewing it now. Uh, let me see how that sounds. Sorry for all the it idiots signing on on my uh, AOL Instant Messenger. I didn't silence my laptop. Let me see. Until I actually need to do another one. But um, if you don't like how that one sounds either, you could undo that and then uh, you could go to it again and then mess with the settings a little bit. But that's basically how you do it. And now that you know how to, you could go out and make your own track. You could do several tracks as you can see here. You could do uh, one for drums, one for bass, one for guitar, one for backup guitar or whatever, one for vocals. But it's pretty easy to work this program, and I think you should download it and try it out. All right, everybody, peace. We'll play a little outro for you. <laughs> I'm bored, so I figure why not. I got 33 seconds left, so let's see what we can do with that.